two cats. It's Eddie at TV. I'm Eddie Ed back with another reaction video. We got Beyond Scare Straight Wildest Moments, man. Beyond Scare Straight Wildest Moments. I'm ready for this, man. Y'all already know Beyond. If you haven't seen Beyond Scare Straight, it's it's a show about uh, sending kids on a field trip to prisons or jails, and they show them what it's really like, and they try to scare them straight. You know, try to scare them so they so they have their minds on straight. I have seen some episodes, and I do want to react to more episodes as well. But I gotta, but I can't find them because YouTube is just saturated with all these different reactions and all these collages. So you can't find a regular episode unless you download um, the actual season. I think that's the easiest way to go about finding it. Uh, let's hop straight into it. City TV. Is that supposed to scare me? Stare down. Are you supposed to scare me? You gonna stare down? Is that supposed to scare me? She acting tough, son. Are we gonna do this again? Really? Do. Do what you need to do. Well, first of all, is she trying to hump her? Why is she so close? Breast to breast. Look at this. Look at it. Um, bro. That is that is like what a I know somebody breath stain. I know somebody breath stain, son. Jump. Do what you need to do. Oh, she doing a jump backward because that breath is hot. That's what it looked like. Because next me. time we're gonna take that as an act of regression. And you know what happens when that happens, right? You wanna play. Put me in a jacket. You in what? what? Put me in a jacket. Why you, you ain't going to no jacket. Why you ain't getting in no jacket. You ain't getting in no jacket. You, you, you got to stop acting like you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ain't no ooh. 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 Ain't no ooh. ooh. Things get messy when this teen brought on the show begins to throw a temper tantrum. Prior to her rebellion, she had asked to be put in a straight jacket. Maybe she had something to prove, but she immediately gets restrained by the officers. You you can't can't do... Oh, this and kid. Respectful. Yeah, and you're proud of that. I remember this kid episode, boy. I he he looked like one of my uh, uh younger cousins. But this kid, when I saw his episode, I wanted to smack this kid, son. Danger. You got your chest all puffed out. You're proud of being disrespectful, disrespecting your mom. Go smack ahead and him. smack me smack around him. like you smacked your mom this morning. Ooh. Hitting your mom. She takes care of you no matter what. Puts a roof over your head, buys that clothes you got, and you're going to hit her? She's going to be the only one that's there for you. Yeah, that's true. Look Run at the tear, the tear sizzling in, his, in, the, in the corner of his eye, bro. That's some serious stuff. Your mom, you're going to hit your mom? Bro, I wanted to smack this kid, man. Makes a big, I don't makes care. A big man. Don't put your hands down before I take you down. Ooh. Put your hands down before I take you down. See? Well, she, she, where I come from, we won't do that. Go for it. Go for it. She's the only Why one you that got really them tears cares running down you. your eyes. Go. Oh, you can hit your mama, hit me. I'm a grown ass little dude. Yeah, you don't want to hit me in my mouth. Your mom don't ask for it, does she? Willie is a disrespectful teenager. He has been involved in several fights, suspended from school on a number of occasions, and he even beats his own mother. It is hard to believe he is only 13 years old as he even stands his ground and talks back at the officers and tries to fight an inmate. Think it's funny? Yeah. Why? Yeah! It is. Yeah, why? You think it's a joke? Going to jail today and spending the day. Have a seat. You're gonna get placed in a cell just like this. If you gotta use the bathroom, right there. If you need a drink of water, it's right there. That's nasty. That is nasty. That's you what? <laughs> Sit down. That's what you... If you want to drink a water, it's right there. Oh, la le coñe, man. Oh, I don't know what I said. I'm just talking. Because that's the example that you're setting for her. Look, you can't even look at her because you know you're going to start crying. Ugh, you your the mascara tears. Your sorry ass brought her to jail. Don't rely on a coward to protect you. <laughs> you're a waste of time. I know you are. You, you are. Time. You won't even stay there. That's his sister right now? Yeah. Oh, let me slap her for you. Can I slap her for you? Huh? When I slap your sister, what you gonna do? This 14-year-old is one of the hardest ones on the show, and he's been brought with his sister, 12-year-old Alyssa. His crimes are armed burglary, grand theft, and gun charges. Anthony might be feeling a little remorse when his little sister, following in his footsteps, breaks down in tears, and he is forced to watch her cry. Nah, he don't care. Hold on, that's the big boy right there. Hold on, big country is in prison right now. Honestly, he look like one of them uh, big boys that that might not be all the way there here, and that's like super strong. Like, 
You saw his head? This guy got a... Look at the size of his head. Bro, look at this look at this boy's hair. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Like animals in here. Mm -mm. No. But there are alternative is. Use your imagination. Bro, some Johnny Ranches on your neck, smell you have you smelling good. You're sitting on your neck. He said Johnny Ranches on your neck. Have you smelling good? Huh, let's go back. It's stupid. Mm -mm. No, but there are alternative is. Use your imagination. Bro, some Johnny Ranches on your neck, smell you have you smelling good. You're sucking on your neck. Suck it on your neck is just nasty, man. Suck it on your yo, he got yo, he got a lot of neck meat too. So they might be hungry, they might be cannibals. They like hey, he might wanna they they might want to eat him like soup or stew. But suck it on your neck, putting some Jolly Ranchers on it is hilarious, man. That's crazy. Look at his face. But get your mind right or you'll be back. Bully. You come west, you won't be no damn bully. Man, because all this soft I'll show you. You a bitch. I can't stand y'all little motherfuckers come here and think of y'all all this and all that. When you got a chance at life of being something. So, man, y'all get out there and try to do the right thing. It gets crazier when an officer takes his time to speak to this offender, known for fighting and theft amongst others. When an inmate brings to make sexual innuendos at the 17-year-old, we're pretty sure William gets the hint, as he's told by the officer to use his imagination. Dorm, they don't play. Hey, look, you know what this is? I changed your life with this. I catch you in that shower, put it in my sock, and make you not so pretty no more. Fight. Sixteen year old Destiny and her fourteen year old sister, Dejneki, belong to a gang. They get a handful of advice from the female inmate, but it gets wild when an inmate approaches them with her face covered. You don't want to come to jail? No, sir. Why not? Because it's not a place for me. Not a place for you? Oh. Stealing? Stealing. That brings you to jail, right, Cap? Yeah. You're doing everything, man, to bring you here. I feel good about Stella because I'm slick at it, like really, because when I do it, I know how to do it. Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online. Don't spend an another dime on Amazon until you watch this first. What? You know, I just realized, why are they showing him walking to the corner store looking like he's about to steal? What the heck is that about? Shafiq likes stealing. He gets a rush. And he tell me, I'm not going to get caught. No. You good? Get out! Oh, you you good? You good? You like this? You want to try to cut the jail? What you doing for? Stealing! You trying to go to jail? You mean to tell me you're trying to be around some booty bandits that cause you stealing? You're talking to your mom in the conversation. How old you live? 14. 14. You don't want to come to jail. This 14-year-old admits to enjoying stealing because he believes he is good at it. It's safe to say the youngest teenager gets a rush from the act. But after confrontation with these three frightening inmates, we can only hope he's turned a new leaf. All right, listen up, listen up. You have one minute. Go ahead, get that bag, line up at this front door. Let's go. You got to start getting yourself trained to understand what this is about. He's saying getting trained, but I'm not going to be back in here. You will. No, I'm not. You will. You better work on your brother because he is going to end up in here. You have failed him. For some strange reason, he think me and him on the same level. He think- Hey, bro, cool up. Don't say nothing. People have different preferences as it pertains to their sexuality. So we have men up here, up here, that might want to dress and look like women. So we have to put them in a certain area for their safety. Now, one thing you have to understand, they're still charged with armed robbery, murder, oh, aggravated oh, assault. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Adonis. I've been here almost four or five months now, but 
What you in for? Drinking lean. Drinking lean? You know what, Lee? You crazy? You don't even care, do you? You'll be here with me soon. And in prison, man, I got stabbed in the face. I got stabbed in my chest. All at one time, about me not knowing the rules, not sitting on somebody's bed, as they say. You better be scared, because they're going to do something to you when you get here. You're going to be somebody's Travis and his baby brother Deontay are brought on the Ugh. show for being disrespectful, stealing, now and gangbanging. Travis makes further admissions on his lean addiction when spoken to by an inmate who gives the brother some valuable advice. You need to be trying to get an education because your looks ain't going to get you paid because you're not that cute. So I'm saying, I'm 51. I turned 51 in here because of a mistake from somebody like one of y'all. Talking about scare you straight. Wait till they lock you behind those doors. Then I bet you won't come back. This right here. There's more ways than one to scare these kids straight. Yeah, he's And Reginald that knows oh. just what to say. The 51-year-old brought in for murder and awaiting trial was one to speak some sense into the inmates without any needed... I don't care what nobody say. That's, this is the scariest part so far. Like, seeing that is... Ah. To raise his voice, curse at, or threaten them. Tahari and Terion constantly there at each other's throats. I got anger issues. The worst thing I ever did to anybody when I was fighting was hitting him with a brick. I pulled a knife on my brother because he punched me in my face and my nose started bleeding. I was just sick of him pushing me around and stuff. I don't want y'all to end up in jail because y'all starting at home, it's gonna end up getting bigger. And I just- If yeah, I let you in here with that man, that man would destroy you. That's how you're gonna eat you alive. You hear that? Come on and with me. If this is what you want, you want this. I would take you and I would squeeze you, man. You wanna fight a man, man like you the same. Put him down in that. Let you feel it. This is a restraint chair. If you come into the facility and you want to act like an idiot, you're placed in a restraint chair. The restraint chair is designed to immobilize you, restrict your freedom of movement. Once you are secured in the chair, a deputy will come by and check on you. Now, how does that make it? You got to leave back, Sam. This is hurtful. This is real. To see a family member strapped up in a chair. But he can't. Brothers Tahari and Tarian are notorious thieves and troublemakers. The two admit to stealing even from their mother. Things get very intense and emotional during this prison visit, as one of the brothers gets strapped down while the other watches. Come on in, man. Be quiet. Y'all not finna keep trying me, bro. You here now. But what you fail to realize, you gonna bro? move voluntarily or involuntarily. Either way, go. You're gonna move. Man, I ain't even gotta be, gotta be in here, man. Y'all tripping. Uh-uh. Man, y'all tripping. You ain't finna keep screaming at me either. Because you're gonna do what? <laughs> no. Name Core. I'm 16. I steal cars. I fight and I do drugs. I probably done stole over like 30 cars. If it's gonna get cleared away when I turn 17, it, it, it don't really matter to me. Oh, I want you to say something. I swear to God, I want you to say something. Uh, get your in yeah. there. Hey, boy. You don't want this life right here, because this life ain't nothing. Man, I get him, fight! Because, I mean, he, he really needs somebody right now. Come here. You know, they, they, we going on right here. This position I'm in right now, still calm. Did the results. Did the results, right home. Ain't nothing good about this. Ain't nothing gangsta, nothing rapping, all this for real. You gotta do what's right, man. Your mama need help, you know that. This young car thief has been caught once for the act, and he believes the charges against him are going to be dropped off once he turns 18. I don't know who told This jail tour, though, did seem to leave an impact on him as he reunites with his stepfather, who's an inmate. I like fighting. It's fun. I'm not afraid of anybody. If you've cost me, Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> but you're worse than me. Yeah, but I don't fight my family members. I'm in for a theft. And then it was selling dope, getting girls to see gonna support you, me, and both our habits. Hey, little bust down. I got something for you. See this? I want Unwrap that pussy pop. Do it. In your mouth, Yeah, suck uh. that. That's right. Dusty, get up. One day you're going to get in a car with a this. You're going to be high. You're going to be drunk. He's going to give you some heroin. I'm exactly. Gonna I'm going to take you somewhere. I'm going to sell you. Then I'm going to bring you back onto the house. And the odds are you're going to have your sister with you because <clears throat> she follows oh. behind everywhere you go. Great. Right? More money for me. Yeah. Two for one. Man. When an inmate known by the alias Pretty Boy, a former pimp and felon, is brought on to speak some sense into the young offenders, he forces Dusty to a lollipop, giving her a taste of the harsh reality down the path she and her sister are headed. Have a seat. Have a seat. Come on. Eat your food. Oh, sit down. Come on, everybody, to try that. 
Oh, this guy. This kid. Every day. This kid right here. I remember they made him put some uh some some mud of his smarty uh sugar around his lips. That was crazy. Don't spin it up, chew it. This is what you want, right? This is what you need to. There is absolutely nothing I'm nice sure, about being in. I'm sure that's not the only thing they eat. They probably even just found the nastiest uh item just to show them. Cause, cause they don't really know the menu, so just, just find anything that's nasty, like really nasty, and then, and then give it to the kids. That's smart, but I don't believe they, they eat that, uh, or that's the only thing they eat. Especially not the food. When the young offenders are served dinner, none of them can finish their meal, and a few even spit out the unrecognizable substance. You ain't at home no more. You gonna do what we tell you to do, and we ain't gonna tell you twice. Do up. You know what up means, man? Do you know what up means? You in jail. Put your keep your hands on the pants up. Pull your pants up, man. Dude, let me turn around. Let me just turn around. That's how this is how it is when you look, man. Following your big brother, huh? You doing your own thing? Got my block. Watch my little brother bleed out in front of him. Fifteen, cause he wanted to be like his big brother. But I got this. And I know you can't out fight. Don't do the he doing. It ain't cool. 14 year old James enjoys doing drugs and loves getting into fights, both of which he indulges his baby brother James. They both don't seem to take the jail experience seriously, though. I'm Larry. I'm 12 years old. I was charged with a terrorist threat and I get suspended for school. He's been in and out of the court uh, and on probation. Good. I was charged with a terrorist threat because me and the teacher, we got into it. And I told him, you're going to get sparked on. As in, shoot. Why am I, why you keep standing on laugh You know what that attitude? Go ahead. Show me. I don't have no attitude. He stand. That's one. Attitudes belong here. This 12-year-old is too much for his parents to handle, being involved in a gang, and even making death threats to his teachers at school, which has earned him multiple suspensions. And they're gonna beat your ass. Hope your fight game good. But I tell you, I see a young lady that's growing up, and you can be anything you wanna be. What you wanna be? A veterinarian. You think you can be a veterinarian with the attitude? No. It's easy to understand hey, why these dude, inmates are bro, hard on them. Somebody sent him to the dentist, son, because his teeth is 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 dying. I ain't teeth either, but I'm just saying, man. They they need to help people out out there, bro. Um, shoot, beyond scared straight, y'all saw this wasn't really that wild. The, the, the wildest part was the uh when when they took the boys to the ones that want to be like ladies but they're guys and stuff. That was that's just really uh that was the wildest part. That was the wildest part. Uh, drop it drop your thoughts in the comments. Which was the wildest part to you, or was this not even wild? You know, let me know that too. Sadia TV. Catch you guys next time. Peace.